Hello boys and girls. Please allow me to review with you converting a ratio to a unit rate using the proportion strategy. We studied in class that a proportion is a comparative relationship. What I understand from that is that a proportion compares two separate relationships. Uh, let's examine this. A car spends two and a half hours traveling 90 miles. How many miles per hour was the car traveling? Just for some reference, 90 miles from here would be close to the Wisconsin border, a little bit past the Wisconsin border, or right around that Wisconsin border, I believe. So if it takes us two and a half hours to travel from here to Wisconsin, uh, how, how fast are we traveling uh, in a car? A car spends two and a half hours traveling 90 miles. How many miles per hour was a car traveling? We're trying to find out how many miles for every one hour the car was traveling. What I do when I solve a problem like this is that I like to write the smaller quantity, in this case 90 miles, I like to write it on the left side, and I include a unit that's 90 miles, and I ask myself, what is 90 miles equivalent to? Well, 90 miles is equal to two and a half hours traveled. So we have a relationship here. 90 miles is equal to two and a half hours traveled. I want to know how many miles the car was traveling per hour. So what I'll do is this. I want to know how many miles per hour the car was traveling. So I'm going to write, make these lines underneath this, and I'm going to put a box over here where miles is. Now I'll explain why. You want to know how many miles were being traveled per one hour. So I write miles is the unknown. I don't know how many miles the car was traveling, but it's equal to one hour's worth of time. 90 miles traveled in two and a half hours, or 90 miles traveled is equal to two and a half hours of time. How many miles traveled is equal to one hour of time? And then so what I would do here is this. I'd, I'd say to myself, okay, how do I go from 90 to two and a half? Well, I've got to divide something. 90 divided by what makes two and a half? In order to find that number, I simply do 90 divided by 2.5. I work backwards. And on the side here, I can write 90 divided by 2.5. Okay. Um, 90 divided by 2.5. I'm doing this on a calculator because I'm using my math tools. Is equal to 36. Okay. So 90 divided by 36 is equal to 2.5. Um, and so a number here divided by 36 will equal 1. The number that we're thinking of is, well, what number divided by 36 equals 1? 36. 36 divided by 36 equals 1. That means that a car that spends two and a half hours traveling 90 miles is actually traveling 36 miles per hour. I just realized I made a mis not a mistake, I, I kind of misspoke. I said that... In problems like this, I like to put my lower value on uh, the left-hand side. I actually put the higher value, 90, on the left-hand side. It forced me to, to divide instead of multiply. If I were to put the lower value on the left-hand side, the proportion would look something like this. Two and a half hours is equal to 90 miles traveled. So I want to know how many miles are traveled in one hour. One hour is equal to how many miles traveled? And then I would say to myself, well, two and a half times what is 90? And then we know two and a half times 36 is 90. So one times 36 is 36 miles traveled per hour. Okay, that's it. Um, I showed you two ways to use a proportion to uh, solve this problem. And stay tuned for the next video. Feel free to watch this video. Um, as you uh, work over the weekend. 
In addition, as you travel over the next weekend or the weekend afterwards or the next few days in town or out of town, ask yourself how many hours or minutes it's traveling. It's, uh, ask yourself how many hours or minutes um, it's taking you to travel a particular amount of miles. So actually try to notice that. See how long it takes you to travel a certain amount of miles and try to figure out how many miles per hour that car is going that you're driving in. You'll also have to think about that you do make stops at stoplights and stop signs, uh, train tracks, things like that. So, you know, that's going to change the number. All right. See you later. Bye.